So many people my age are sporting at least one tattoo these days. In fact, some studies put that number at over 50% of young adults. I couldn't wear my sleeves up um, like most servers would do because I had tattoos on my forearms. Mark Conan is an employment specialist at a local employment service agency. He's worked in a couple fields where he had to cover his tattoos. Now, many places of employment are loosening their standards when it comes to visible tattoos. Like teachers and nurses, they can actually have tattoos showing now. While others hold their ground. And being in PA, we're an at-will state, you know, so it could be any reason and no reason to hire. Um, and that could be it's something that's not protected. Um, so that personal expression and personal appearance isn't a protected reason. So sometimes we have to have those tough conversations, for sure. But that hasn't stopped the tattoo business in Erie from growing. There are countless shops dotting the area. A lot of people get pretty heavily tattooed around here. It depends on what part of the country you're in. Some parts aren't as busy as others. Um, but, I mean, the industry as a whole, it's definitely getting a lot more popular. Some professionals don't let their passion for ink get in the way of their passion for leadership. Tyler Titus, for example, serves on the Erie School Board and also works with kids in the community. I've been a person that shows that my character, uh, my career, my ambition comes before the ink on my skin. And I think that I tried to lead by example and I serve now, you know, in some very public capacities and my tattoos are out for everyone to see. That's great if you're able to show your creative side while doing your job. But for some people, finding a way to hide your tattoos is just another step in getting ready for the day. If you've only ever seen me on TV, you'd probably be surprised to know just how many tattoos I have, to the point where when I first got this job and told people about it, they looked at me like, yeah, sure. But breaking mold is kind of my thing. I've been coloring and cutting my hair since I was 12. It was a creative outlet for me. When I got old enough, of course, I wanted to expand that expression beyond my hair. Slowly, my body became more decorated, despite the potential for pain. Tattoos, piercings, stretched ears, in the back of my mind, I knew I may have to conform my appearance someday. I first did that when I joined the Erie Philharmonic Chorus nearly 10 years ago now. Even then, people were somewhat stunned at my ability and willingness to tone my look down for performances. Since then, I was hired here at Jet Fox Your Erie, first as a studio camera operator, then I moved up to the newsroom to be a photographer. Now, I'm a one-woman reporting crew, and people I knew had to see it to believe it. I am lucky in the sense that I don't have to hide my tattoos throughout the day just while I'm on air. But deep down inside, I really want to help break this mold for the sake of tattooed people everywhere who work really hard. Heck, my grandma used to give me lectures when I first started getting tattoos. Now she has two and wants more. If that's not enough to tell you that the tide is changing, I don't know what is. Reporting for Jet24, Fox66, and YourEerie.com, I'm Kristen Nielsen.